Welcome back to Bill Plays Bass, where I play these things. Uh, this is my new, just a couple week old, uh, Sterling Ray 4 HH, two humbuckers. Uh, these were on sale, I think, about a couple weeks ago. I bought this at my local guitar center for $299. Normally they're $429. I thought it was a hell of a deal. They are uh, great sounding instruments. Uh, very close to their American cousins, to the uh, uninitiated ear at least. So, uh, let me show you what this sounds like. I love the way this thing sounds. So I really like the uh, the bite when you coil split the pickups, but I also really like that uh, mid-range hump twangy uh, tone of either of either these two together or on full or either one. You know, so right now we're in the first position, so it's both coils, then both coils back here if you were back in this position. So as I got to uh, start playing the bass a little more, really I think it was during the editing of the video that I had for, uh, I kind of put up something just letting everybody know these were on sale. And I heard something. I couldn't tell what the hell it was. And then uh, I plugged this back in and I played some things and there was some kind of noisy stuff going on. So I'll show you. We'll go back to the rear pickup here, bridge. And, you know, I played certain things. I don't hear anything, but. There's like this percussive noise. And then occasionally I'd be on this pickup and I would just kind of hear something. You didn't really hear it there, but there's just something not right. And what I found where this kind of percussive noise was coming from is the pickups. So. Your pickup should never do that. I mean, I could play, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, you just shouldn't be able to do that. Front pickup's no different. Maybe due to the tone of the pickup, it's less. But I'm watching the uh, meter here on my Focusrite Sapphire, uh, or Scarlet, excuse me, and I see it plain as day. It's not picking it up from this, and I will have muted the uh, pickup that's or the uh, microphone that's above my head. So that is bad. So ordinarily, the only sort of noise, I don't have anything metal near me, uh, but the only sort of noise you should be able to get from a pickup is when you touch the pole pieces with something metal. Well, I guess a, you know, a, a string normally. You know, and it's not even making as much noise as this does. That's hilarious. So what do you do about this? So I've done a little bit of research and the thought is that uh, this being an inexpensive base, even though it's kind of an expensive, inexpensive base, I mean, 300 bucks is not nothing. I recently put a demo of a Harley Benton bass out there, and before shipping, it was 109 bucks. For a bass, that is literally nothing. 300 bucks? I don't know if you paid 429, you know, that's not nothing. That's, that's a fair amount of money, for me at least. I don't know about you. So the thought <clears throat> is that uh, lesser expensive instruments, they cut corners, and one of the ways they may have cut corners is to not wax pot these pickups. So basically you can melt uh, paraffin wax 
in a uh, like a crock pot or something else where you just barely get it melted. You don't want to, uh, apparently it can catch on fire, so you do not want it on high heat. And you literally uh, take the covers off the pickups and dip the pickup in there and let it sit there for about 15 minutes with the wiring out. Uh, so the wiring is not getting drowned other than the hinge. And what it will do is fill in all the voids and uh, supposedly will stop uh, microphonic action. Um, <laughs> I've done this in a while, so let's see how microphonic these pickups are. So sometimes microphonic means microphonic as in like a microphone. So let's see if you can hear this through the pickup. If you can, it's gonna suck. All right, I didn't see that on the view meter. So hopefully what that means is that you didn't hear it. So where do we go from here? Um, I'm gonna do some more research. Uh, I need to check out a few other things. I'm actually, uh, I have found out previously that it's possible to go overboard on uh, amplifier sounds, especially from processed type equipment versus like, you know, I, I've got a little digital. This is a Zoom bass processor I'm playing through, by the way. Uh, I normally play my basses through a Zoom guitar G1 Exxon processor. This is coming from a B1 Exxon uh, processor. But it's possible sometimes to just kind of turn everything up to 11 and make almost anything do this. However, I plugged in another bass. I didn't really have that problem. So I think uh, I am probably going to pot this. So I will come up with a resolution quickly and either I will post it as the uh, pinned comment to the video or I'll show you another video on how I fixed it. All right. Wish me luck. And uh, if you are interested in all things bass, uh, including uh, some demos of this bass and others, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time.